Good morning, Parkville. Welcome to PTV News. My name is Celia. My name is Danielle. Today is January 13th, and it is a D-Day. And my name is Asia. It's the last day of the quarter and also a half day. We are debuting a new segment on PTV, so stay tuned after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did you know that Parkville Middle School is now a Recycle Rally School? That means we can get rewarded by collecting plastic bottles of various sizes and aluminum cans. All you need to do is drop your bottles or cans in the collection box that the green team made. You can write your name on the bottle or can with a permanent marker for a chance to win a prize and drop it in the collection box located in the front lobby. Each week, Green Team will draw one of the recycled containers from the box and award 10 behavior bucks to the student whose name is on the bottle. Even if you don't win, the whole school can benefit from the prizes will be awarded for our collection. Thanks in advance for helping Parkville become a certified Green School once again. Eighth grade graders who are applying to Magnet High School art program should check with their art teachers to take home any artwork they may need for their auditions. Make sure to carefully check the requirements of the schools you are applying to, check off what you have completed so far, and determine what you would need to accomplish in the days you have left. See your art teacher with any questions. The Parkville Kearney Library Branch is looking for current 7th and 8th graders at least 11 years old to earn service learning hours as Reading Buddy volunteers. If you enjoy working with younger students, applicant, applications are being accepted now through Friday, January 20th. Applications are available in your school counseling office at the Parkville Kearney Library online or by uh, downloading a print version and returning your completed copy to the Parkville Kearney branch. See your grade level school counselor or Ms. Hightower in the school counseling office if interested. The silent auction ended yesterday and was a great success. Thank you to everyone who participated and bid on the prizes. Also, thank you to all of the teachers who sponsored these awesome prizes. Because there were so many great prizes, we don't have enough time to go through all of them right now. Stay tuned after the credits roll and we will have the winner's list for all grades on rotation. We will keep this list going throughout the day, so check on it whenever you can. If you won any of the prizes, it is your responsibility to talk to the teacher who sponsored your prize and arrange a date and time when you can collect it. Our special segment today is a new segment called Top 5. Today's Top 5 are things that should be left in 2016. For more details, we go to Kayla and Emma. Hi, I'm Kayla. And I'm Emma, and this is the Top 5 segment. Today, we'll be talking about the Top 5 things to leave in 2016. To start off the list, dabbing. We all have that one friend that dabs all the time. It's so annoying. The second thing on the list is Harambe jokes. He's dead anyway. Next, we need to leave challenges in 2016. The Kylie Jenner lip challenge, cinnamon challenge, and the 100 layers challenge. Fourth, words like fleek, bay, rose, and pack should be left in 2016. Finally, flipping water bottles. Teachers especially hate this one. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, that wraps up our top five for today. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Here are the winners of PTV's first ever riddle competition. Congratulations, Chris and Makai. Are they smarter than you because they won this competition? Maybe. Are they luckier than you? Also, maybe. Try out your luck next week with a new riddle competition. Well, those dabs weren't left in 2016. That wraps our report for today. Thank you for watching from everyone at PTV News. My name is Celia. I'm Danielle. And I'm Asia. Stay groovy, Parkville. Are you going to push the paper, papers off the bed? <laughs>